What is up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today I've got an exciting video for you guys about iOS 11. I'm gonna show you guys the 17 most awesome hidden features in iOS 11 that I have found. I think you guys are gonna enjoy these features and I think it'll make your iOS 11 experience just that much better. So let's jump right into the list of features. So I am really excited to do this video here for you guys and I do have iOS 11 installed here on my iPhone 6s. So let's jump into my 17 favorite hidden features of iOS 11. So first up is dark mode. Now Apple didn't actually implement a full dark mode into iOS 11 but they did actually implement a smart invert feature. All you have to do is open up the settings, go into general, accessibility, and display accommodations and you will see an invert colors option there. Now this doesn't make every app into a dark mode but it does make the default Apple applications look Look like they are in a dark mode. Keeps the home screen looking the same but actually changes the colors of the Apple default apps so definitely worth checking out if you like dark mode. Another hidden feature actually involves AirDrop. Apple gave us the ability to toggle AirDrop on and off in iOS 11 by going into general and then opening up the AirDrop section. You can actually turn it off completely from here and this used to be just in the control center so that is a new feature. One of my favorite new hidden features of iOS 11 is creating PDFs in Safari. Now this is super super easy. All you have to do is load up any website within Safari and then click the little center button in the bottom of the screen scroll over to the right and you will see an option to actually create a PDF go ahead and click that and it'll give you the option to look at the PDF then you can click done and actually save the file to a website or save it to your email whatever you want to do there very very handy Apple has added another new handy feature that allows us to shut down our iDevices through the settings application go into settings and go to general and then scroll all the way down you'll see an option to shut down very nifty if your home button or your power button is actually broken to shut down the device. Now a lot of people actually come over to my house to actually share the Wi-Fi when they are here and there is an easy way to do that now. You can quickly share Wi-Fi passwords without actually telling them the password. When someone is actually trying to log on on iOS 11, if you also have iOS 11, you can simply get a notification on your phone and share the password with them. Very helpful if you don't want to give away your password to your friends at your house. iMessage has some new effects that Apple did not mention. It's actually called Echo and Spotlight. Echo actually repeats the message on the screen for you and Spotlight is almost like being on a stage. So very nice to see those effects in here and they actually will be used quite often by me I'm not gonna lie in the control center Apple has actually added new options for the flashlight you can actually press and hold on the flashlight button or use 3d touch and you'll see that it actually has four different levels for how bright you actually want the flashlight to be so that's always handy if you are in a less dark area and you want to use less of the flashlight or more you can now control that Apple has implemented QR code scanning directly into the camera application so you don't need a separate application to do this anymore Go ahead and delete those. You can scan all the QR codes you want through the camera, which is a very nice feature. For those of us who want a little more customization of Siri, you can actually type to Siri now. Go into the settings application, go into general, accessibility, Siri, and you'll see an option that you can type to Siri. Now, Siri works exactly the same way as it would have without the typing, but you can simply type all of your information instead of speaking it, which can be handy for those of us who don't want to use Siri out loud. The notes application actually can scan documents as well. All you have to do is type a new note, go ahead and click the plus button at the bottom of the note, and you'll see an option to scan documents. So you do not need a separate application to do this anymore, and it is nice that Apple has implemented that as well. One less application to download. Now, Apple didn't go super in depth on this but you can customize the control center it's not super super hidden but to do this go into settings then go into control center then go ahead into customize controls and you'll be able to actually reorder the controls as well as add new toggles that appear right in control center which is very handy and this is further customization than Apple has ever given us in the control center so very very happy to have that when you are typing anywhere on your device Apple has implemented a one-handed keyboard mode all you have to do is go ahead and hold down on the emoji keyboard button and you can see that there are actual keyboard buttons to go right and to go left this actually allows you to actually type a little bit easier with one hand when using the device I'm very happy to see this as well driving and texting is an extreme problem and Apple is trying to actually handle that by implementing do not disturb while driving which is a new hidden feature you can go into the control center toggles and add this into the control center and you will not receive notifications when you are driving so be safe out there guys and Apple's definitely helping us out with this one 
When you take a screenshot, you can actually annotate that screenshot. You can go ahead and draw directly on it or do other things in terms of editing. So it is nice to see Apple giving us more control over those as well. And it is very, very nice interface to use, very easy, and I like it a lot. Something that I'm very happy about is screen recording within the control center. So swipe up from the bottom of the device, you'll see a screen recording button. If it is not there, you'll have to add it in the control center customization tools. Once it is there, go ahead and just tap the button and you'll be able to actually record your screen and share it or do a live broadcast. Very, very nice of Apple to implement this. We no longer have to worry about that through jailbreak applications. In the settings application, Apple is actually helping us manage our storage of the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch a little better. Go into the settings application, go into general, and you'll see an iPhone storage section. Apple actually gives you some suggestions as how to free space on your device. And if you are getting close to the full capacity of your device, this will definitely help you. It's nice to see Apple helping us out there. Finally, you can do translations directly within Siri. It does allow you to actually translate directly there, which is good if you're in a foreign country or if you just want to learn how to say something in a different language so I'm gonna be using that quite often and I really do like how Siri is just more natural and includes all of these new improvements so those are my 17 awesome hidden features in iOS 11 guys hopefully you enjoyed those and hopefully you actually got something you didn't know from this video hopefully you enjoy a lot of those features in your day-to-day -day use of iOS 11 I know I definitely am going to be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more content be sure to drop a like on this video I will have my Twitter Facebook Google Plus Instagram page Patreon page and website all down in the description so be sure to follow those guys it really helps me out and as always thank you for watching stay awesome and I'll be doing a lot more videos on the iPhone 10 and iOS 11 in the near future so stick around and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace